Here we are, MMTs, gathered at 7.11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 12.27.2001. Happy New Year to everybody. Once again, what did the master say about stealing the puts wholesale when they were $80 five days ago? The public will never buy down in the, the buy ranges. 36.20 was the Friday close. Once again, it's an update. But let us not forget that the Friday closing high was 41.26. And we have very light volume in the indexes. And they're marking this down to my glory entry at that wholesale bid. 29.10 by 29.80, zero volume. That was the closing print right here. It's in the video. Right here was 36.20. That Friday's high on 12.23 was 41.26. So what am I doing? I'm trying to get wholesale. And why? Because the high was 41.26. That's this contract right here. That's this particular one. Let's make sure that we have that January contract. It's right here in the chart. So this is a January 1250 put as well that we would be looking at from $60 down to $17.90. Now, let's set alarms on this one here at $15.50, falls to, let's set another one at $14.70, and another one at $13.50, or $13.80, falls to. This is a January 12th, different contract, all right? When we get out and we start looking at February put options on the S&P because we know that the earnings season isn't going to be good and as they mark them up we take the opportunity because no one is going to be there and I'm looking at a 1250 February that was up here it's a February contract yes it's been marked down from the high 7230 to 37 set alarms on the 1250 put falls to 3350 3090 and 2870 on a February 12th 1250 put MMTs they have marked it down and we have the S&P if we take a look at the S&P on a daily now you can see here in the same video as of right now current to date with extremely light volume that as they mark them up they mark them up and they mark the other side of the market down and right now we're gonna see the kind of money that comes off the sideline because you got the S&P back above its 200 day moving average that we always talked about and it's from the point of the percent level above the 200 day moving average is where we said clearly what those upper end of those resistance levels going into the new year can be and once again I'm going to get back over here to 1288 on the S&P um, our first other yearly number uh, right now we're above that 1267 so we're right in here we're right in this and in, in we're getting up above this trend line that we talked about the higher that they mark it up the more shorter term, I'm sorry, the shorter term overbought macro that we're going to get. And there would be a trade and it would be successful on, on, on an intraday level. So basically, these were the crowns of the European we got up here. And then we went straight back down from 1288. We know that. So, and, and we were short that. So right now, going into this week calendar, week, is how we are going to steal the bids on certain contracts. This is definitely one of them. The other one, just so people know, um, will be uh, naturally the NASDAQ 100 put contracts. And we're watching the 2250 put. Here's a 2250 put. And this particular put, we've got alarm set. We were buyers and sellers of it. Market down to 80. This is the side of the market. In the shorter term, it's going to be the most oversold side of the market. And the call side will be just the opposite. As we have clearly told people, here's the 2250 call. It's gapping back up here 
where it had that pullback. That's the 2250 call on the NASDAQ 100. But it's coming. It's been marked up three days in a row. This was a, where we talked about buying that upside out of money out of the volatility so when they walk these markets higher and they bid them up it was very cheap to buy down here it was cheap to buy here at 39.20 and selling into 77 dollars that was a great move on a daily level cashing out then buying back at you know we were buying down here you could buy down here 44 dollars and sell you got marked up the next day you got marked up to 60.37 now you're marked up to 69 on 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 Friday's high and today's high 1227 this contract that that's the one and the same thing on the S&P we bought that cheap and I can tell you they're marking that up and as they're marking that up they're marking this down and that's the 2250 put. That's the opposite side. There's that bid and that ass. There's that close. No volume on it. I will be making a market and I will own it at the right time. So as they have daily opportunities in a call, but they also have daily opportunities on the flip side is the put. The put side. The call side is getting inflated. And the put side is getting marked down to all-time lows and our option brain it will tell us that we are in a buy range to buy in the range and then we will calculate the lower bids here on this 2250 put which is the opposite side of the bloated side of the NASDAQ 100 okay and the thing about it is the NASDAQ 100 is currently coming up and testing its 100-day moving average, 50-day moving average rather. It's at the 200-day moving average on light volume. There is no buy side volume. Therefore, we let the volatility calls that we purchased at the very bottom continue to run their course. And we will cash those in at some point during the week and we will get back over here at the all-time lows of the other side. So that's what a daily NASDAQ 100 chart looks like in the last month. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy 2012, because one thing about that Happy New Year is we know how to work the trade management correctly and the risk management on volatility management. Volatility management up and out of the money calls. Uh, volatility management getting on the other side down here at the most wholesale prices ever. Uh, when and, and they're coming to us on this side of the market. We already got up and out of the volatility. Let that play. That's this. That's that. Let it break up. But this is going to get marked down and we'll have to buy them and then cash in the uh, upside volatility. That's what this is about. All right? So that's your daily chart. That's your moving averages. You're above the 200. You're above the 40. You've had a 1, 2, 3, 4. That was your 5-day range right here. And you're going to come up to our, our resistance levels. The higher that they go, remember, one of the things that we were very clear on was how you would trade the... Uh, the up and out of the money calls and what were they they were this one here they're down 14 cents but that is a $2,500 call that has been marked down and I can prove it and not only can I prove it I can show the open interest in these contracts 10,900 11,000 here and 5100 here and upside out of the money they're very cheap they've been marking it down on a daily level you can see the markdown in the call side again from $30 up here that was $30 that's that 2450 call January uh, expiration monthly and they walked it down to 220 so it's at its all-time lows for being up and out of the money to, for another trade if they want to keep it going higher. We already have our first transactions, but I'm letting people know how they mark down the call side. And they mark down the put side. The bid and ask on the $2,500 call is 35 by 75 cents. That's a 121, 2012. That's that 2,500. That's what it looks like in there. 
Okay? And the thing about it is, this is the kind of stuff that uh, we look at potentially buying at 15 cents for upside volatility. Okay? They've marked its contract down to nothing. That's the $2,500 call as a volatility hook. But the put side's going to come into play. Once again, it's all about the NASDAQ 100 trade. And it's all about utilizing your structures correctly. And it's about making the right entries at the right wholesale prices and taking advantage of both sides of the market and understanding where your upper end is going to be and how they mark it down. But you're going to be in a short term because this is all done through the wonderful Christmas holiday and we're going to be going into the earnings season in about three weeks from now four weeks from now three weeks from now and look we believe that the imbalance meaning that the put side will be imbalanced and the call side is going to get overbalanced overweighted to the upside and that the other side of the transactions will come into play and once again it's all about the NASDAQ 100 and it's all about understanding where to look for the most deflated value where the majority of the public will not be around we also looked at this um, 2275 put that expires uh, Friday uh, that's a weekly that's the 2275 weekly it's down to ten dollars up here it was up here at $35. See? See? $35 prices. See that? Okay? It's wholesale. Um, that's for this week. We also were looking at the potential uh, entries on that. Is if um, we were to come up to $2,300, is, is that this premium that's at all time lows would go lower based on. If the rally, if we can get the, the, the New Year's Eve rally started, then these were $109 a contract. Yes, it's $47.50 contract. Yes, the NASDAQ 100 is coming to our 2300 level. And we talked about it last week, the week before, and over the weekend with all live videos. The thing about it is that this is a good markdown so far. They can continue to mark to 2300 down. I will have an alarm set right now. The low of the day is 4750. I'm going to set alarms. Falls to 4250 on the 2300 put. And another alarm at 4015. Another alarm at 3890 on the $2,300 put. Because if we can break up to 2300 here on the chart, up here at these resistance levels, then that's going to mark it down more wholesale. So we'll take advantage of the most deflated wholesale side of the market as the retail side going into the new year is getting set up. The retail side of the market is getting set up in the very first levels of the New Year's Eve calendar, the last trading week of 2011. And they're going to have to deal with 2012. And they're going to mark this side of the market down, MMTs, during the light rallies. And it's all about getting back over here. And even, um, and this is a January. Here's that 2280 right now. They took it lower. We said they would. They did. Um, Friday's close on this one here of the 2280 put. The nice thing I like about this one is that the high was $56, and today's low, once again, my friends, the markdown is $39.95, and it's a January, it's a 2280 put, and the more that they marked them down in a shorter term, we're hitting that upper end of that light volume trade on this NASDAQ 100 index option put. So set alarms on this one at $35.50, okay? The lower they take it, we can see the volume, and we can see that no one is in here. There's hardly any open interest, and that's a good thing for us because we will get the most 
wholesale entry at the right time. No one will have the lower ent lower entry than we do. And let me tell you that one day, two days, three days, four days, five days, look at here. Look at where it was up here. It was 96.50 a contract. And I'm down here now at 39.95. I'm wholesale, man. If I'm only buying one contract for $4,000, hell, I just took out $5,000 worth of risk on one single contract. But if I'm buying 10 of them, I've taken out over $50,000 risk or close to it because the high was $96 up here. $96.50. Do the math. And if I'm buying at 40, hey, I'm taking out on 10 contracts. That $50,000 wholesale entry is potentially my profit on the markup back to $50 a contract. And I make decent money at the right time. They will mark them up as they mark them down. 2280 put. Special. NASDAQ 100, 727 AM, 1227, 2011. NASDAQ 100 trade management led by our wonderful friend Chuck. MMT Chuck. He's going to be in charge of these uh entries and where the values are with MMTs.